Hello everybody, welcome back by a new video and today it's time to compare all the three Iridium generations. And before we are going to start, I have to say that there already is a generation four, but it took me a very long time to get the second generation, which is this one. And I don't really want to wait until I have the fourth generation since that might take several years. It has only been out for like half a year now and I've only seen like 10 of them around. But from what I've seen, I really like the fourth generation. I think it might be my favorite LED fixture. Since it looks really, really good. It doesn't really look like an LED fixture. It's not flat at all. And that's what makes it nice, I guess. But anyway, let's talk about all of these fixtures. Um, and let's start with the first generation. So this is the first uh, ever Iridium. And it's pretty, pretty fucking popular. They exist in many, many countries. And I understand why, since it's a quite durable, good looking fixture with many, many options. This is a medium version and we have like a smaller version and a uh, big version. You can get these in three different bowls. This is the flat bowl, which I got last week then you have a normal bowl which is i would say it's not very not very round or anything it's only a bit less flat than this one and you have like a deep bowl which is like it comes to here so it's quite uh, quite deep so one thing i found less interesting about the iridium is that it doesn't really have an at least these versions don't really have an original opening system. There are like two different systems you can get. I think this might be like the older opening system and the newer one has the refractor actually on the glass. And you have like a special thing to get the lamp out that fixtures like the traffic vision for example have. So yeah, the lamp is pretty easy to take out. As you can see it's a 70 watt CDO. You can get like all the equipment out pretty easily too. It's just one simple plug that holds all of this together. And then you get like a box with all the equipment can open like this which this is a pretty smart system pretty easy not anything too special but yeah it works looks pretty pretty neat It doesn't take that long to uh, put it all back together. So yeah, this is basically the first Iridium generation in a nutshell. I have a, a collection video of this one in the description, so you can check it out if you want to see this fixture in more detail and with the other two bo bowls as well. So then we have generation two here, which does look quite different from the first generation. And what makes me wonder is, um, I don't know if they actually made this as a different fixture and just choose the name since it's pretty popular or if they actually like did base um, this fixture of the original version since it looks pretty different but anyway this is the generation 2 with LED as you can see there are also uh, hyper sodium and stuff it also exists in this fixture but it's not very common 
it's all metal that makes it pretty heavy you can also open it pretty easily and uh, the opening system basically works the same but as you can see the inside is really really different um, the hypersodium version of this fixture doesn't have a good system to replace the lamp in at all it sucks it's bad it looks cheap and yeah you don't really need to replace the leds very often so that's why the the system is probably a lot more difficult but yeah you don't really get a nice box um like what you got with the old iridium generation the only thing that's in, in a box is the connection here which is this thing which almost always breaks off <laughs> it's not it's not very uh, it's not very good but i do actually think that the outside of like the opening and stuff it didn't change and this is worse i do actually think that the design is a bit looks a bit more beautiful it's a bit better these things don't really have the problem with the canopy flying off in strong winds at least not that i've seen but i haven't seen that many of these around to be honest also a funny little detail with all the iridium versions is that the phillips name is on the same place in every version of these in every generation which is a fun funny little detail but let's go to generation 3 which in my opinion is a fixture that doesn't really look like the rest of the iridiums at all so as you can see this one is very flat compared to the other generations and um, the opening system is really different which i partially understand since it's an it's like a true led fixture doesn't have a high pressure sodium version anymore and i understand that they like choose to change it but so much this really doesn't look like the other iridium versions but anyway you can still open it uh, without using a screwdriver which you can which this is the system you can just take the entire part fixture of the pole except with an exception of this which is a pretty original system and then you can there's a plug inside here which is quite hard to unplug maybe you, that you can see it better now here it is this is the plug which is this is actually quite original system i haven't seen any fixture that has used this opening system well, and this is what the, uh, the inside looks and as you can see the driver and stuff are all behind this part so i don't know why they choose to do that which makes it uh, pretty hard to replace the driver since these things do have problems with the drivers quite often but anyway there's not very much to tell about this fixture again a video about the this fixture and that other the gen 2 and gen generation 1 a collection video to that there's a link uh, in the description for that and then let's turn them on if i when i connect it then all something interesting that i forgot to tell is that you can actually change uh how the fixture is on the pole like this is that it shines like a bit upwards and then you have the middle version which is just normal and then you have that it shines a bit downwards with the lowest version like this which also is a very unique unique thing so uh these things are really bright but let's turn them on So yeah, the first generation need, does need some time to warm up. 
but I actually choose a bulb that has the uh, same light color as the LEDs. So let's wait for that to happen. Well, I'll show how <laughs> bright these things are. It's quite hard to see on camera, quite hard to compare. But yeah, trust me, these things are really bright. Especially the third generation, which has 40 LEDs. It's really, really bright. They are all warmed up and the uh, first generation here does have a bit of a warmer light color. It's probably like 830, the warm white. And the second one is cold white. And the third one, I don't really know what it is. It's like in between. It's really, really weird, but you can see that on camera that this one is a bit, it's interesting light color. It's quite interesting to see all these versions at the same time and to see how much they evolved over the years. But yeah, let me know in the comments which version you prefer. I think, yeah, I don't really know, I like all of them equally, but I think uh, Generation 2 maybe, that's my favorite. But anyway, thanks for watching, let me know what which one is your favorite version and see you in the next video.